In today's show, we're going to learn and talk about the coffee belt. Imagine a belt that surrounds the whole earth, a really big belt that covers almost the entirety of Africa. It also includes South and Central America and Asia. Do you remember our last show when we watched the history of coffee? Let's recall that during many centuries, the missionaries, travelers, traders, and colonists carry coffee seeds to new lands. Coffee trees were planted worldwide. Plantations were established in magnificent tropical forests and rock mountain highlands. Some crops flourished, while others shortly. Coffee grows best in an area known as the Big Belt or Coffee Belt. This is the band around the earth in between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. The keys to growing coffee plants are a rich soil, mild temperatures, lots of rain, a dry season, and shaded sand. This is what made places like Central and South America, particularly Colombia, ideal for growing coffee. The coffee belt streams through 70 countries that are known for tropical climates and rich environments, full of lush vegetation and optimal growing soils. Even though coffee can be grown anywhere else, in other places it will be nowhere near as successful. A lot of countries of the coffee belt are also part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, whose volcanic activity contributes to the richness of the soil that the coffee plants thrive in. When you have all of these factors mixed together, it creates the optimal environment for coffee plants to grow and thrive. Soil, climate and altitude affect the flavor of the beans. Coffee has two main varieties, Arabica and Robusta. Arabica is descended from the original Ethiopian coffee trees. The coffee made from this variety is mild and aromatic. It's the king of coffee and accounts for about 70% of the world's coffee production. These coffee trees grow best in higher altitudes, between 2,000 and 6,000 feet above sea level. Mild temperatures in about 60 inches of rain per year ensure Arabica's growth. Heavy frost will kill Arabica coffee trees. On the other hand, Robusta coffee trees represent about 30% of the world's market. The bean is smaller and rounder than Arabica beans. Robusta is a heartier plant and can withstand warmer temperatures up to 85 degrees. It can also thrive at lower altitudes than Arabica. Robusta beans produce a bitter tasting coffee with about 50% more caffeine than Arabica. You'll find Robusta coffee trees in Southeast Asia and Brazil. The resultant taste of the coffee is quality, and the flavor profile is certainly influenced by where the coffee comes from. Flavor really does differentiate continent to continent. Even separate farms within the same general area produce an individual coffee. Just to further complicate matters, everything within one crop can also be different. And of course, methods of harvesting and other controls like storage, roasting, grinding, and preparation influence the final product. There are three primary coffee growing regions, each with a different landscape, climate, and flavor profile for the coffee grown there. Asia Pacific, full bodied and syrup smooth with herbal and earthy flavors. Africa, citrus, berry, and spice flavors with floral aroma. Latin America, crisp acidity with flavors of nuts, cocoa, and soft spice. Let's travel the coffee belt from Asia to Latin America and let's take a look at some of the most interesting countries and coffees. Asia Indonesia is made up of hundreds of islands and islets, the most famous of which are the larger ones, Sumatra, Java, and Sulawesi. In the 17th century, Dutch colonies introduced the seedlings to Indonesia. Good coffee is worth the wait. At least that is what traders think with profits in mind and can sometimes store saplings for many a year. Surprisingly, this is in fact not a bad thing and the coffee usually possesses a unique flavor. Coffee arrived in Vietnam with French missionaries who brought the plant with them. Today, Vietnam holds second place in the world in terms of coffee production. This is mainly thanks to Robusta, 
which is cultivated to mix with Arabica coffee. In Hawaii, we can find one of the most expensive coffees in the world, Kona coffee. This coffee is grown in ideal conditions under the active Mauna Loa volcano. It has been one of the world's finest coffees and even exists within its own coffee belt, the Kona coffee belt. Arabian Peninsula Yemen is the first country to start cultivating coffee for business purposes. Coffee is cultivated here in the spirit of tradition from centuries before. Grains are smaller and rather irregular shape due to less precipitation. The lack of water also indicates it's produced using a dry process. Africa The cradle of humanity and coffee. Ethiopia is one of the countries where coffee is exported in bulk. Kenya cultivates its coffee in the rich soil at the foot of Mount Kenya. Qualitatively, we will consider Kenyan coffee at the very top of the chain. It is even carefully controlled by its own rating systems. Cote d'Ivoire is one of the largest exporters of Robusta in the world. It's unmistakably strong, yet delicate. Flavor is often blended with Arabica coffee. Some other African countries that have become important in recent years are Tanzania and Rwanda. Central America and the Caribbean Coffee is grown in volcanic soil in mountainous terrains of Guatemala. The unmistakably taste has been likened to tons of spicy chocolate. Mexico is one of the largest exporters of coffee in the world, despite that coffee is grown on small farms rather than large plantations. Costa Rica produces coffee that has been exclusively processed using wet production. Small farms have a focus on quality and have created a coffee of perfect reputation. By the end of the 19th century, Puerto Rico was one of the most important coffee producers but due to economic hurricane and a strict competition, they have recently struggled. Nowadays, a resurgence has begun with this Jauco Selecta coffee which is considered one of the best in the world. South America Brazil is the first in the world for coffee production. Its plantations produce both Arabica and Robusta. And last but not least, let's talk about the maker of coffee, Colombia. Colombia is one of the world's most prolific coffee exporters. With its immense production and high standards, it beats everybody. Its coffee is well known for its smooth and mellow flavor. Okay, my friends, I hope that you enjoyed our show. If you did like it, please do not forget to click on the like button below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you again next week. Bye!